Hey, Brocast Rogers. It looks like a friend of mine has brought me over a little paperweight and he wants to make some uh, adjustments to it. Uh, mostly, he wants to remove he wants to remove this little shelf right here. Focus, you fuck. There you go. He wants to remove this little shelf on both sides. Um, said it make a better paperweight like that. So we're gonna go ahead and tackle that today. We're gonna see if we can cut it with a mill. See what's up. All right, guys, so we're set up here on the bench, and I'm going to get you guys on there right now. And uh, what we're going to do, let me see if I can. Controllers. There you go. Anyway, right there. So, this is what we're going to be working on. We went ahead and we dikem it up so that we could. Uh, So that I can see what I'm cutting off and we can come out level to the tip so it's thicker back here that's the size we want we're gonna just take it even till we get those shelves off of there and that should do it for Outstanding. I think we got this. Looks legit, right? 
So now we just gotta do the other side. And we should be good. So I'm gonna put you on hyperlapse again. We got it guys. Um, so yeah, we took off the uh, the shelves that were right here. The, you know, the shelves that would mess up the paperweight function of this, um, this part right here. And so now there's no shelves for it to get hung up on whatever paper is lying around that you're trying to weigh down. But yeah, it was fairly, uh, very nice. About 75 thou per side. Um, I just used the Dyco to fill in here and then we took it down till we till we basically started taking off the the dicum on the bottom side it's a quick dirty way of doing it so that uh, we're not having to program a bunch of numbers in our head onto the DRO but it helps having a DRO that's for sure looks legit outstanding uh, thanks Aaron you have a good one and uh, that's one of the many uses of a milling machine here at Makers by Design. Peace out.